curtains underneath and it's like a silent movie and play those crazy music. <laughs> you know all those movies were so goofy? Yes. We could do that. Wow, we got a ton of footage with no talking. So we hopefully will use that in the previews. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome Hello. back to the channel. I'm really excited about today's tea. It's a brand new one for me. It's a black tea, it's a black Fujuan. So uh, even sitting here looking down, I can already see the Jinghua on the, uh, on the tea. Stay tuned if you're wondering what that is. Uh, I'm really excited to dive into this. This tea, and not only you never had it, I've never had it mm -hmm. either. Like I've never heard of. So it's basically, uh, it's still from Hunan province. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, black tea using fujuan process to encourage the gold flower in it. So that's pretty interesting. Wow, that is really interesting. All right, so let's dive into this. I'm really excited to get some hot water splashed on it and get sipping. If you're new to the channel, please click that subscribe button and hit the notify bell so you'll know whenever we post a new video. We do live sessions. Sunday Tea Book is a favorite of many. We do vlog. We do all kinds of uh, great videos about Chinese tea and its culture. Let's dive in. All right, for those of you who are wondering what is Jinghua uh, from earlier, I mentioned it. Um, Jinghua is, the, uh, is this little fungus that is a, 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 a characteristic of the Fujuan process. It grows naturally on Fujuan tea. Uh, it's been studied in the East uh, by ja Japan. Uh, oh goodness, my tongue is tight. It's been studied in the East. Japanese have done many studies on this fungus. The Chinese have done a bunch of studies. Maybe other people, I don't know. It's been studied though. It's known to be very good for health, particularly for like sort of sugar uptake or sugar processing related things. Mm. Um, and from a tea perspective, it adds a unique flavor as well. And we even had a Taeguan Yin once that had, was inoculated with this. It doesn't grow naturally on the Taeguan Yin cultivar, but... Mm -hmm. So Jinghua means gold flower and it's a little gold fungus. Uh, and I'm super excited to see how it tastes with black tea. I've never had it with what a black tea. What do you think tea. of the smell then? It muted a little bit. Um, it yeah. has that, that mushroomish um, mm. something there. It's Honestly, muted, I was but talking yes. it's uh, not like so a black much tea. I couldn't pay attention to the <laughs> Um, no, none of that sweetness, like on an Eastern... It doesn't smell anything like a black tea. Mm, agree, agree. Mm. And it doesn't have as strong a mushroomy as a regular Fujuan either. Not as strong. I'll pass that on. But it's there. But I smell that. Mm -hmm, like that mm -hmm. has that Fujuan, it's closer to Fujuan smell than, mm. than yes. black tea smell. Oh boy. And this particular tea is a pressed tea too. I think mm. we ended up with about four, oh no, eight and a half grams. So a pretty boss amount of tea. Right. About I eight. initially put a small guy one here to mm -hmm. brew, but because I chipped a quite a big uh, section of the tea, so I had to switch to a bigger guy one. Yeah, I convinced her to just go with it because I'm pretty stoked to try this tea I want again. Good number of infusions and it looks actually really, really nice tea for winter. That's why I was mm. like, I can just go for the whole day for this tea and there's no pressure. Yeah, yeah, good one. And uh, I'm not gonna rinse this tea because, uh, you know, the rinse kind of a wash off with the, uh, the gold, gold flower, yeah. so I wanted yeah. to keep it. Hmm. It's pretty dense, huh? Mm. It's a pretty tightly pressed. I don't know. Maybe that should be the color. It's Maybe, the light gold-ish with a little orange tint, like to the redder side of the gold. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Let's see how it tastes. Like. You're right. There's just that hint of red. It's almost right? in the clear glass. It looks very gold. But mm. once it's in the cup, you can see that it's gold with a distinct red tinge. I wouldn't call That's it like red a at this point. Little bit of copper-ish. Mm. Tinge, but it's not much. Now that's interesting. A little medicinal, almost a medicinal aroma. Very. It needs a longer steep. Yes. <laughs> 
but right away the there's a hint of black flavor black tea flavor ah uh, you think so okay i was gonna say oh nothing like black tea for me i don't know what to expect on the other hand no. like no. Because it's a black tea, then goes through that jinghua fa hua process, which means like cultivate the uh, flower, uh, the the okay. gold flower. So uh, that's I don't know what to expect. Right, I was gonna ask about that because you mentioned that it was um, it went it's a black tea, but underwent the fujuan process. So they mm -hmm. still had to encourage some um, growth of the jinghua mm -hmm. through. Um, like a more of a dark tea traditional step or mm -hmm. mm, interesting, but then apply black tea at some point. So this will be really interesting. Mm. Apply the black tea processing at some point. No, it's a black tea for if it didn't go through that Jinghua process, it's a black tea. I got so you. basically I if got you have you. a black tea at home kind of thing, just roughly speaking, you have a black tea. Don't try this at home kids. <laughs> you just grab that and go through the Fahua province. Uh, province. Process. What is that called? The ha ha? Fa hua. Oh, fa hua. Just, uh, just, uh, <laughs> not ha ha. <laughs> it's just a process to encourage, uh, mm. encourage the gold flower. You can also call that a dark tea process. Okay. A key step of a dark tea process. Very cool. And fa hua. Okay, it's getting deeper. So mm -hmm. this is a shade. Yeah, shade, several shade now. deeper. We're yeah, it's a copper, copper kind of a thing. We'll see if this is better in terms of a tasting mm. kind of thing. Hmm, interesting. Really mushroomy. Mm. That kind of a woody mushroom. Check the bottom cup. I kind of blasted through the, whoa, very woody mm -hmm. with that mushroom. I found it. Oh, this smells really good. I really love that. It's woody, but it has that steamed bamboo. Mm, yes, yes, it's, it's, that's exactly it. It smells like um, the steamer after you made dim sum for several hours. Really swollen, wet bamboo. Mm -hmm. mm. And uh, it somehow feels more pleasant than the dark tea, like the lid. Yeah, it's a little bit more bubbly. The mm -hmm. dark tea has a somber aroma. Um, it's not unpleasant. It's very nice, but it's just a bit more serious. Uh, the mushroom is more accented. This is more like that. This is really a warming tea, I would think, like in mm -hmm. the winter kind Great of thing. Great choice for today. Mm. <laughs> mm, a little bit of black tea aroma on the liquor here on this. Uh... In their black tea mm? aroma. What is black tea aroma? Mm, good point. Because. No, you have a great point. Like, um, I'm as you get used to tea, you might you might start to not try to put on those other labels. But if you're not as familiar with it, let me just describe. It's got a hint of that sweetness, that um, that dried fruit sweetness, in particular. Mm. See, the reason I asked that was because to me, I don't. I don't think of black tea when I drink this tea. If I know nothing about this tea, I drink that. That fits in the dark tea profile mm. more to me. Like and after the sip, I have to agree. The profile is you, very dark tea, but it's it's also off. You think it's the smell, maybe that initial smell that mm. this smells really good. It has that a fujuan that kind of a. Uh, 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 like a cocoa powder, powder like cocoa-ish smell, and the leaf. Oh, you're right. I mean, it's, wow, that okay, is really nice. This is something nice. I really like mm. in Fujian. A really comforting bamboo aroma. Yes, yes. Uh, like I remember, uh, our Fujian has premium. Our Fujian premium has a very nice cocoa. Cocoa, note. yeah. This has um. It's a bit sweeter, uh, like not that dark cocoa, bitter. This has more like a milk chocolate almost. Now I drink this more. I know what you mean by black tea. So here is the interesting thing because, so talk about the black tea profile. 
It depends on how you say it. Because when you first say it, I was thinking about that fruitiness, sweetness, right. and stuff like that. Now I have this sip. What? Go ahead. No, uh, well, because when I said black tea, I had I will. I was gonna confess and say it actually reminded me of black tea bags. I was gonna right? say it too. This reminds me of a drier notes of black tea. That's it's right. Not the so don't get part. me wrong. When I say tea bag, it doesn't mean it's bad. This is not. It just has that, like you say, that less cheerful. Yes. More the um, you wouldn't dry think side. of Dian Hong. Mm. Mm. Wouldn't mm. think of. Uh, uh, it's a. Uh, it's similar to traditional Kimen. Mm. Mm. I feel like that's, that's why you are more sensitive than me because of your possible, yeah, yeah. crazy love for traditional kimen. Mm. No, I really love traditional kimen. It, it, because I drink them mostly in the morning and my taste buds are totally <laughs> not on. When I just like more first than thing, the taste buds, oh sorry. <laughs> so I don't have good memories of certain But it's you know, even notes. No, that's really great. That's I'm glad I didn't notice the similarity to traditional kimen at all. Even though it's my favorite, maybe because that's one of my favorite morning teas. But now that you mention it, it's like a really dry version. Because traditional kimen still has, still has some that. of that uplifting fruitiness. It's just not so. It's just not trying as hard. Maybe that's why I like because it. Because it's more. not a like a, a, yeah. the the process and the plucking, right? It's mm. not a bud that. Yeah, it's not so bud rich, mm. and this one is even more um, dry. And uh, so, if you like a dry black tea, I think you might really love this tea. It's got a re after. Let's talk about aftertaste. Right, it's not the mouthfeel that is dry; just the tasting right. notes are dry. It's got a great mouthfeel. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. just have that uplifting, bubbly sweetness that a lot of um, black teas have. Mm -hmm. The throat is very clean though. After the sip, it's I very have a really nice comfy. throat feel. Yeah. My mouth is comfy. There's zero coating, zero bitterness and astringency, which is maybe not surprising. You don't get that from Fujuan either, at least from ours. I've never detected bitterness or astringency there. Really smooth. Yeah, smooth. You're as right. Heck. No bitterness, no astringency, especially no astringency. Mm -hmm. I guess it makes sense, but it's a. Uh, very slightly slippery sense. Nice. It's yes. not just a smooth. It has that right. slipperiness. Yeah. There. It lubricates really nicely. Mm. Give you a nice feeling through your whole throat, and mouth. What do you think of my brew? I don't know. I really like it. This is the third infusion now. I think right. I kind yes. Of this is the, the third infusion. Mm. I don't know about you or you guys. Sometimes when I try those. Uh, freaky teas, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like uh, those new innovative teas, mm -hmm. and they taste I like that. freaky, <laughs> experimental. Yes, Franken teas, and their taste is so all over the map. Sometimes I get confused about brewing in terms of uh, uh, mm. is it light or is it strong or stuff right. when there's no clear indicators. Of super strong or stuff like this one, right? The liquor color one, two, three. It gets deeper and deeper. Yes. But in terms of the flavor and the flavor is slightly more concentrated. Yes. But not strong. If I if Mosfil, I mm. what do you think? Like if I I kind of hesitate to count the first infusion, but I definitely feel a. Uh, intensity difference between the very first, but between second and third, almost mm -hmm. none. But we'd still see a couple shades more to the copper on the third infusion. Mm -hmm. So, and mouthfeel, yeah, the mouthfeel I have to say is it's richening up. But yes. again, second to third, like you said, this tea is is pretty flexible. It's not going to punish you if you go too long or a little too short. I guess once it's opening up, like mm -hmm. I see now, the leaf is quite. Is quite floating the around. The first infusion one. wasn't totally no flavor. No, not the at all. The second, third wasn't strong. The liquor also. So my preference when I really don't know how to brew a tea mm. totally is to test on both ends, right? The first infusion right. is the lightest, and right. maybe this one I'd like to push the liquor color to the next level. Mm. See if I can, because sometimes you notice that their liquor color is at this. Top, you know, like mm -hmm. if it's a light oolong, no matter how strong you brew, it's not gonna have poor yeah, color. That's right. You're right? never or never gonna so, get a deep but, amber. Mm, so mm. I want to push it a little bit to see first where the edges are. Right? Where the edges are. Mm. What mm. do I think is the best brew, best liquor color for this color? 
uh, for this tea, but also to see how the tea perform when it's stressed out mm -hmm. because eight grams is a pretty decent amount of yeah, tea. Yeah, this is really smooth actually. Now that you say, I, I kind of forgot that it was eight right grams um, and still really smooth, really balanced. Mm. Mm. Oh, I like this tea a lot. Let's talk about the Jingma again because I honestly forgot about them. Oh, really? Yes, I find... I feel like it has a pretty prominent Jingma taste. Like that unique fujuan ish, fujuan isk, uh, mm. mushroomy taste. Hmm. I'm gonna have to search for that because I, I, um, I can, it's there, but it's, I find it blends with the black tea in a way that it doesn't, it kind of just, it works so well. I just, as we got into these um, deeper infusions, it mm -hmm. just really works for me. But you're right, it's still there. It's just really nicely tied in. Yes. I think this tea reminds me of Liu Bao Cha back a few years ago before mm. they all mm. taste like Shu Bo. <laughs> it's actually just getting, yes, it's getting to be a lot more, even more than a few years. I think we're going back to 2016. We had that, I was in love with that Liu Bao. Really have right. those bamboo woody notes. It's mm. different. You taste that, it's Liu Bao. It's not Shu Bo or any, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, it had its uh, own taste. Yes. Kind of reminds me of that kind of Liu Bao Cha. Mm, I very like this tea. Mm, I was I was about to say I love this tea. This is a really like, really fun sip. A really yes. pleasant sip. Mm. Yes. Not to mention it's healthy because of Jinghua. Like not the not the reason I drink tea at all, but uh mm. I just find you're right. If I pay attention and put I kind of got a little I drifted a little bit and my taster hat floated away. I was just absorbed in kind of enjoying mm. the tea. But if I go back and remember, hey, this is a black Fujuan Jinghua. Yes, it's there. Um, that unique element of Fujuan is there. It's a deeper but, shade. Yeah, you've pushed it. That's right into the black tea. Like nice. It's got a nice deep orange red. Mm. Mm, really nice liquor color. That's beautiful. We'll see. Will and, that be a and punch on the face or will that mm. be okay? More of that what I called earlier black tea aroma, but it's it's not as hard as the first infusion for me to imagine that this is a black tea. Now, for me, the black tea element jump out a little bit more. Mm -hmm. That dry, that again, that dry, dry black tea, black right? tea is like traditional old style black tea has this more. Mm. But no mistake, it's a dark tea. Something in that, like the first hit for me is a dark tea profile. Mm. Then it has that black tea elements there. Very comfy. I think it's a great winter tea or summer tea, but it's in those sweltering summer days. Right, right. I don't know. Similar like, to Leo Bao, how you have that yes. when it's super oppressively hot and humid. Yeah, yeah. It can still that release kind of that. release. Or on the flip side, it's unbelievably frigid and cold and you need that inner warmth, which is sort of ironic to say, but at the extremes, this tea would work great. Hmm. And believe it or not, this tea is not very aromatic. I feel like the, the aroma is in the taste. Mm. I like that. I really like teas like that. When I smell that, it, it, you definitely smell this. It's, tea with its own teaser aroma mm. kind of thing. I wanted, I, as you were just saying that, I have been purposely holding the liquor in my mouth and breathing over it and noticed that although I wasn't getting many high aromas in the upper, in my upper nasal, like kind of with an oolong, that's where you get all mm. those flowers and stuff. Mm. That technique still really works to, to, to bring out the aroma in the liquor while you're breathing over it. Mm. So um, that that's funny that you mention that at the same time, because I was doing that as you were mentioning that. I'm like, mm. Oh, I like the bottom cup too. It's not straight brown sugar. Ah, I found it's a great 
in between tea, if you feel like like a shampoo is too raw, mm. or certain yeah, yum dark tea is too raw, but uh, puar shu puar is too overly calming. Mm. This is nice. Nicely in between kind of thing. I totally agree. I'm gonna, for my part, I'm gonna definitely slot this in right next to Trad Keeman as a new morning tea favorite. I, uh, I think this will brew a great pot of tea. It's Fujuan, so I could even boil it, I think. Yeah. I'm gonna experiment with this one a lot. And I do love the bottom cup. So my cup's been empty for a few minutes. It's cold. And a lot of teas, I get a really a sort of a burnt brown sugar or a cooked brown sugar aroma. This one is more of a, just a delicate, I'm not even sure how to describe it. It's still sweet, but it's not, um, it's not as caramely somehow. Mm. I'll try again, see if I can get it on the What do you think one. of the brew? We had, I like that uh, last brew, last the, redder, like the, the one that brew? was more red. Mm. Mm -hmm. I have to say, I'm a little bit to the intense brew style. Yeah, uh, myself, I think I, I like the last one, but I want it to be slightly less. You gonna go for it this time? Go yeah, for it. I'll go try to brew that better because I feel like the last one has a little bit uh, latent bitterness. Like, again, it's not like a bitter that right. you drink it, you feel that it's like a really minor degree mm. of a slightly to the strong side. Right. Again, you can brew that that way. Just for me, I don't want it to tone that down. I want flavor, oh, sure. sure, but not as mm -hmm. deep, slightly. Do you think, because this one, because I brew that a little bit too strong, it reminds me of a, more of that a puar, shu puar. Right element. Mm. Uh, I don't hate it. It's just I, f I enjoy that bamboo, steamed bamboo, that right. warming, that comforting. More like we were talking, that Liu Bao, more that, leaning yes, to, towards yes. the authentic Liu Bao. Yes, this mm. is a little bit, say, 50% uh, Shu Pua reminder, right. which for me is, was a little bit much. So I think I would tone that a yeah. little bit down. I'm excited to try it. It's really fun how, you're, how you've played with the infusions, a brand new tea and mm. kind of Feel your way around, light, heavy, and now mm. come back. Like it's a really, um, it's a really great way to practice your own intuitive brewing too. Just yeah, yeah. Know, don't worry too much about following instructions exactly. Like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. sometimes you'll make a little mistake, and you can let your mistake lead you along too. You know. Mm. Yes, please. <laughs> I have no option but to share it with you. Mm. That has that what you're looking for in your next brew, that, that light, wet, yes, bamboo -y. Yes. Mm, I see what you mean with a hint of sweet. It's a very, this is a very interesting tea. Yes. It really does strike me, it does strike me as a, as a new, a unique profile. Mm. And uh, as this leaf shows, this is not fully open yet. We, mm. we probably will be brewing this tea for the rest of the day. Yay. Yeah, I really like this. It's, I would say you nailed that. It's yeah. not all out we'll yet. See. It's we'll not see. all out yet, but uh, yeah, I think that's. I think in terms of color, to get it less than last time, but in the in the zone of the prior infusion, I think you really nailed it. it looks good. It's got that. It's got more hints of red than the third infusion, mm. but is much more golden amber or amber than the uh, fourth. Yeah. We'll so see. if you figure it out, we're on five. <laughs> Hopefully, because they can all rewind and count. <laughs> it's really hard for me to keep track of which Same infusion here. is. Same here. Mm. I have to agree again with your, your um, the way you describe the calming profile too, which is again maybe an odd way to describe tea for some of you, but. We really love Shupuar in the evening as a calming, relaxing tea. And this one does strike that not quite so calming, but also yes. not, it's not going to like, it still has some of that, but not, uh, you know, just not overly. I think this is my best brew so far. Mm. 
Mm. Yeah, I really like this tea. This is a really, I can tell it's a good tea. One of the hints for me that it's a good tea, and you can laugh at this because it's a little bit of a goofy way to judge a good tea, but I can't find f tasting notes that are easy to pull out. It's, comple <laughs> it's complex. Everything's really blended. You know, mm. we talked about wet bamboo. Yes, it's there, but it's mm. really blended with the other elements, the, um, with that slight mushroomy. None of them are popping out and really saying, hey, I'm mushroomy. Hey, I'm wet bamboo. No, they're all really integrated. They're really bound together. Yeah. Makes it really hard for me to explain to you what's going on in my mouth. But, sorry, shouldn't talk with my mouth. <laughs> but it makes for a wonderful sip. Mm. There's a high, one of the high aromas I'm getting is that, that uh, woody bamboo. Mm. I agree. Your best, this aroma. is your best one. Mm. Mm. Yeah, there's not, like you said, yes. there's not much, but there is a little bit of that bamboo floating in my... And woody. Mm. It's interesting how it's intertwined. It's unique. You can, you can find those elements, but how the way they combine their... It's quite unique as mm. itself. Mm. And mouthfeel is really, really... Very smooth. nice mouthfeel. Yeah. Mm. Smooth, Easy slick. Easy to drink. Mm. Yeah. How would I say it? Silky is... I, oh, I kind of overuse that one. I don't want to say oily. It's not quite that. But it's got great viscosity. A really nice... My mind is stick on slippery. Once I come <laughs> with the one word, I'm just... Mm, slippery. <laughs> mm. And the... Uh, The, the, I was just breathing over my, clo the, my closed mouth after the sip as well. Really nice lingering power. Mm. Refreshing, clean, bright. I feel, like, I feel like my mouth is bright now after the sip. The ending has a mini cocoa element there. You might be missing it because it cools fast. Mm. I'll try my bottom cup perhaps. Mm -hmm. That's a really nice, really nice sip. Mm. Mm. Well, I'm glad we have a lot of this and we can sip it all day. Mm. <laughs> it is really good. What do you think of the smell? I love it, the, dry, the um, brewed leaf smell. Mm -hmm. I really love it. it I keeps, it's been consistent since it finally opened up. I really like the, um, I like that woody sweet. Again, it's confusing. It's got... Um, it has a comfy um, aged flavor. Mm -hmm. Yes, it, for me it has that, that confusing mix of aged. It's got some of the... I, don't, I still have some... Something about it is, maybe it's because I know it's a black tea, I can't let it go, but I still have reminders of black tea mixed with the, the, the dark tea and aged element, the woodiness, the mushroomy, the, the elusive mm. sweetness that's not overly this sweet. This is the smell of... Oh, wow. Is it wrong? It even has a little... I want to... I'm going crazy, I think. <sighs> I was going to say the smell of cells, but what does that mean? That means nothing, right? It's that humidity in the air with those oh. old, you know, the, the, the big tree that has the root drop down okay. from the sky, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like when we're in Xiamen and stuff. That kind of a woody and a humidity in the air, that mm. kind of a southern, you know, you can, like it's a kind mm. of a visual smell for me that I can imagine the moss. Right. On the brick, with that a huge tree, with the root drop down. I would have never thought of that, because uh, it's not, you know, where I'm from. But it is. It, I I get what you're saying. It, it does have that humid, heavy humid. Um, it's interesting when I talk about the humus now because. Of course, it's humid. It's water brewed, that right. kind of humidity. But that smell is something. 
Mm. A quite interesting thing, like uh, you wouldn't have that in Wulo much, even mm. though you you mm. also smell the brew leaf. Yeah, you know that's a good one. Just before you had that note, I had a, what I thought was a little hint of floral, mm. really, and I can't I can't find it again. But a, and this is going to sound a bit wrong, but for lack of a better description, almost like a like a, a it does a bar of soapy for floral. For me, is this. Is the leaf itself? Yes. Not the guy one lid. Mm, mm. My voice is so long. Guy one lid. It's okay. You can tell it's a morning shooting. <laughs> so that's it for today's tasting. For you, but not for us. <laughs> not for us. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot Sorry. to do here. Yeah. I I bet this is definitely a whole day. Still oh. pretty tight. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Wow. A... It's swollen, but it's still pretty wrapped up. You can pick it up. Wow. Okay. We're going to be drinking this for a while. But that's it for today's video. If you yeah. liked the video and you got value out of this, please do give us a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Click that subscribe button and hit the notify bell so that you'll know whenever we release a new video. Uh, we love doing them for you. We love going live. We've got vlog. We've got everything. Mm. Have you ever tried a food run made with black tea? Have you tried any similar kind of uh, experimental mm. teas and do you like them? Share your thoughts with us. And also we are going to carry this tea. Mm. Uh, instant the, love. Instant love. So we're going to carry this tea uh, 2021. It's, uh, the link down below, you will be able to put your email address uh, there. Stop. Once the, the tea mm. is back in stock, you will get the note. You will get the note, so you'll be possible. able to grab it. Don't mm. miss out. All right, look forward to seeing you next time. And until next time, keep steeping. Keep steeping.